Hello, Kawaiti. Ngayon po, pag-aaralan natin is yung drop C. Okay, let's start! First, a condition in which fish often have hugely swollen bodies. Sometimes, the condition is also known as bloat. Signs of dropsy in acquiring fish. As the infection progress, skin lesions may appear. The belly fills with fluid and becomes swollen. Internal organs are damaged. And ultimately, the fish will die. Even with prompt treatment, the mortality rate is high. Successful treatment is very unlikely unless a fish is diagnosed in the early stages of the infection. Here's the complete symptoms of a dropsy in a part of fish. Grossly swollen belly, scales that stand out with a pine cone-like appearance, eyes that bulge, gills that are pale, the anus that becomes red and swollen, a spine that is curved, fins clamped together, redness of the skins or fins, refusal to eat, and swimming near the surface. These symptoms occur progressively as the disease advances. Internal organs are affected, most notably the liver and the kidneys. The agent that causes the symptoms of dropsy is usually the very common Eremonas bacteria. The bacteria will only lead to serious infection in a fish that already has a compromised immune system. This can happen as the result of stress from a number of factors such as poor water quality, ammonia or nitrite spikes, a large drop in water temperature, stress from transportation, improper nutrition, aggressive tank mates, and other diseases. So, ipapakita ko po sa inyo mga kawaiti kung paano ko po tinitreat yung may mga dropsy ko na fish. So, ito po yung mga kailangan natin sa pag-treat po na dropsy, na may dropsy na isda. So, ito, rock salt. Tapos, ito po, uh, fresh stock water. So, hindi po natin pwede gamitin yung nandito. Kaya, hindi ito pwede kasi infected siya ng internal parasite. Kasi ito yung fresh stock water. Talagyan natin ng mamaya na isang drop na methylene blue. So, ayan po. Nilipat na po namin siya. And then, itong isang tasang fresh stock water para lalagay po natin dito sa isang tank na ito yung maging salt bath. And ito beta scoop. So, una po natin gagawin is ilalagyan natin yung isang tasang fresh stock water and then ito 2 teaspoon of rock salt or 1 tablespoon haluin lang po natin maigi hanggang sa matunaw po yung rock salt Ayan, tunaw na po yung ating rock salt. Ayan po, uh, habang hinihintay mo natin matungo na po itong rock salt, patakan po natin ng one drop lang po ng methylene blue. Yung isa pong ginawa ko pong tank na may fresh stock water. Ayan, mag-ingat po kayo kasi minsan madami po yung patak niya. Kailangan isang drop lang po. Yan, tapos haluin lang po natin maigi hanggang sa matunaw po yung methylene blue. Ngayon po, kunin na po natin yung isda na may dropsy. Okay. 
Paalala lang, lang po mga kawaiti na kapag nilagay po natin siya doon sa salt bath is dapat po 5 to 10 seconds lang. Huwag niya pong lalagpasan doon para hindi po masobrahan po yung ating fish. And pag nilagay po siya doon sa salt bath, mapaparalyze po yung, yung fish after natin siyang masalt bath. Ayan, 5 to 10 seconds lang po. Pagkatapos po niyan, ilalagay na po natin sa methanol blue. Ulitin nyo lang po yung process ng mga 3 to 7 days. So, yun po yung ginawa namin dun po sa gumaling namin is taganto lang po yung process. Sana po makatulong. Ayan na po siya. Magagalaw-galaw na po siya. Unlike po yung kanina, parang lasa ibabaw lang po siya palagi. How to prevent trapsy? Keep the tank clean. Clean the filter regularly. Avoid overcrowding the tank. Do not overfeed fish. If the tank is well maintained and the fish are fed a healthy diet, outbreak of infection causing dropsy are unlikely. So, yun lang po mga kawaiti. I hope na sana may natutunan po kayo ulit sa aking video. So, i-update ko na lang po kayo kung ano po yung mangyayari po dun sa fish. Pero, tot, um, pag may mga dropsy po talaga or condition na dropsy po yung fish is 80% chance na mamamatay po talaga sila. Unless nga lang po kung As in, pagkakita niya po is napansin na po agad yung infection. Pero kapag medyo tumagal na po, mahirap na po talaga siyang itlay. Pero at least, may gawin po tayo sa ating mga fish para po ma-survive natin sila. Yun na po mga kawaiti. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. Click nyo rin po yung um, bell button for more updates on our videos. Thank you. God bless. Bye!